Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. This is Gen 1 Solo Runs. This one will be interesting. I'm going to use Slowbro in this one. This one was a request from from someone who was enjoying the content. Um, Slowbro is an interesting one. He's very good, very powerful, and he's got good defense, both uh, special and physical. He's a, he's a good Pokemon, but um, as his name suggests, Slowbro, he is extremely slow. However, in in um, Slowbro's case, that might not be a problem because his defense and his ability to, to knock out other Pokemon might just be might just outdo that uh, speed stat. As you see, it's eight to begin with, with, which is not high. 91 to level six, so that's not a particularly fast level up either. And there was a bit of a graphical glitch there, and that's why. Let's try that again. Growl. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, that little glitch will happen if I accidentally leave the code on. It will inevitably eventually crash a game. Did I grab the potion out of the PC? I did. Okay. So obviously Bulbasaur, very easy to get over because I have confusion. Um, there's no real sort of like good choice for the AI. Venusaur will do the most damage, but it will also take the biggest hit as well. Such is the nature of these playthroughs, the rival's starter Pokemon may not always be good. Good against your Pokemon in the long can't escape. Oh, well, yeah of course. Slowbro is legitimately that slow, <laughs> and it can't escape from the from the wild Pokemon at the start of the game. All right, Slowbro, yeah, bro. All right, let's let's head on to Viridian Forest and let let's battle some bugs, bro. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to talk like that for a full video. Uh, yeah, slow bro. Yeah bro, confusion bro, yeah, one shot. Alright. Um, look at this, slow bro is legitimately that slow. It's getting outsped by the bug Pokemon. Okay. There's another potion. Alright, so we're pretty much just going to assume for the entire run that Slowbro is probably going second. So, look at that. Defense special, both very good. His attack's not too bad as well. But, alright, that's the early trainers in Viridian Forest. Let's backtrack to the rival. Okay, Slowbro's learn set. Um, he can learn Psychic, he can learn Surf which will probably be enough to get him through most of the game, to be honest. Fusion, easy, very nice. Um, Brock also shouldn't be a problem, um, even though Slowbro doesn't have any water moves, Confusion will do a lot of damage because Brock's Pokemon have very bad special. Remembering in Gen 1 that special does count for your attack and defense. It wasn't a separate stat until Gen 2. You know, I did a Gen 2. Huh, did I not battle him? Huh, okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I actually did a Gen 2 solo run a couple of days ago. I used Feraligator, and Feraligator was obviously really good. Like, knowing Surf and Ice Punch gets you through like 90% of the game. But um, the Gen 2 runs, they, um,. There's a lot of mandatory battles in Gen 2. I never really noticed until I did that playthrough with Freligator. I did one with Chikorita like ages and ages ago and that was horrible. So, anyway, as you see, easy battle with Brock. Confusion will just put both of these Pokemon to the side with relative ease. Oops, I didn't mean to battle her. It's also very possible to lose to her as well because of sand attack. 
Alright, gone Fusion. Might have to start going for Headbots a little bit as well, as we are running out of PP. Alright, that Ekans, if that used Rat, that could actually knock me out, because Slowbro can't outspeed Ekans at this level. Because remember, in Gen 1, if you use Rap, your Pokemon gets completely nullified, and you will have to wait until Rap stops, and then Ekans will be able to go again and use Rap again. And it did not know Spearows appeared in there. Oh, of course I would. I get my Spearow after I have my Great Ball. Okay, Mount Moon. First thing we'll do in Mount Moon is we'll duck to the left and we'll pick up TM12. That will give Slowbro another move, being Water Gun, which is quite useful at this stage of the game. It's another physical move considering we only have two. And it's also a water move, so it will get us through a lot of the hikers. So Slowbro can learn Mega Punch, but I won't bother getting it. I don't think Slowbro it's I don't think Slowbro will need it. So Water Gun, yeah, as you see, Water Gun does in Geodudes and Onyxes in just one shot. So we have to accept that Slowbro is not going to be going first in any of the upcoming battles. Which may actually be quite difficult because with that rival battle, if he uses... I've been hit four times in confusion. Four times in a row. Okay. So his Pidgeotto, if it uses Sand Attack, it's pretty much just going to unhinge the whole battle and Pidgeotto is like pretty much guaranteed to go first. Ooh, perfect for the Great Ball. So yeah, that's, that's my first thought about that rival battle is it's actually going to be quite difficult. And I still can't flee from Raditors. Alright, Headbutt, or is... No, it's too high a level. Okay, where are the Spearows? I... Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to weaken a Spearow. Uh, Slowbro is just a little bit too, a little bit too bulky. Okay, let's grab a rare candy. And uh, now I'm going to do a couple of Misty's trainers first. I'm going to try gain maybe one more level before going to the rival. In fact, Slowbro might even be able to beat Misty right now, as well. Okay, now let's let's try the rival. I'm going to go for Confusion. He's gone for Quick Attack, which is the better move. Slowbro's got... Okay, it's a 3 hit, and that, that's what I didn't want to see. Okay, we're not doing too bad though. One confusion. And it couldn't hit. So Slowbro wins that battle. It's just because of this cheap bastard of a Pidgeotto using Sand Attack. It's the only reason why Slowbro didn't win. Oh, at that time it missed the Sand Attack. It's hit one of them at least. But there we go. Um, now that I've done him, I might actually battle Misty now, because Slowbro will level up a few more times, and let's let's try and keep the battle competitive. So Staryu, I'm going to go for Confusion. Alright, Staryu's easy. Let's use Headbutt on Starmie, and yeah, this is actually going to be an easy battle. Starmie's not going to go for anything other than Tackle, because of the way Gem 1's AI works, so it's going to be a very easy battle with Misty. And TM11 is Bubble Beam, which is better than Water Gun. And I'll actually get rid of Disable.
Alright, so from here it's just a uh, quick wander up to Bill's place to get the SS ticket. So after that we are off to Vermilion City. Okay, Ekans, Zubat. Need the elixir in here for the Elite Four. Can Slowbro learn Seismic Toss? I don't think it can. To be honest, I might actually need a level or two more because Surge may actually be a problem because he's probably going to go first in the battle and if he hits a Thunderbolt he will do a little bit of damage. I'm, I'm going to assume Slowbro doesn't learn Seismic Toss but whenever I've taught something Seismic Toss I've barely used it. Alright, good win by Slowbro. Grab an Aether. Has anyone heard the um, the old rumour is that really rare Pokemon would appear in Bill's garden behind his house? It was supposed to be those two little spots that are supposed to act as grass tiles and like Charizards and Dragonites and stuff were meant to appear. It was a schoolyard rumour back in the day. I used a clip through walls cheat and I debunked that myth. Alright, drowsy, headbutt, headbutt, good. Okay. I will assume Slowbro does. Oh, okay, it can learn dig. I was not expecting Slowbro to be able to learn dig. That's, uh, that's actually quite a surprise. Okay, down. In here, in here. I'm actually starting to think I should have just lobbed that great ball at that Spearow back in. Cerulean City. Okay, let's use Bubble Beam. Good. Bubble Beam. Good. Bubble Beam is good. Bubble Beam on Spearow. Bubble Beam on Radicate. Very nice. Because I'm still too strong. I'm still going to knock Spearow out in one hit. Oh, clutch. So. Like, eventually you will throw a ball at a Spearow and it will just catch. Just because of the nature of the Pokemon that Spearow is, but... It's rare to do it on the first attempt of the Great Ball. Okay, sell the Nugget. I don't need the Escape Rope now, because we have Dig. Alright, just, just to be safe, let's do a quick heal. Okay, SS and down here, down here, crossing up. All right, Pidgeotto, let's go for Bubble Beam. Do we outspeed? We do outspeed Pidgeotto now, so maybe it's Slow Bros. It's not going to outspeed Al uh, Kadabra or Ivysaur, but but it's a pretty easy win. Slow Bros. Learn set is very, very varied now. So that's a bit of a weird sentence. Um, hold on, one sec. There's a message that's popped up on this. No, there we go. Um, so Slowbro is on the cusp of going to level 27. Um, so because of Slowbro's move variation, he is actually going to be very good. He's got a psychic move, water, and a ground move, which is going to make him extremely good for the Elite Four. So Slowbro's run is looking very, very good. Okay, nearly 15 minutes and we're about to battle Surge, so Slowbro is making pretty good time as well. Okay. Let's learn cut. Back here, cut down. Okay. Depends how oh. First time, first try, ah. Oh. How good is that? That may be a first and only time that ever happens. Okay, Slowbro doesn't need Growl. Okay, Pikachu, his physical defense. Actually, I really should be going for Dig. 
Okay, Thunderbolt hit, so it does half damage. It didn't paralyze me, but Surge is very, very dangerous for Slowbro. Because if that paralyzed me and I got fully paralyzed, he would have hit Thunderbolt again. He would have won. But he didn't, so I'm going to try avoid him this time. Slowbro doesn't need any more levels. Okay, down. Da, da, da. Okay, let's head on to Rock Tunnel. Get rid of the Bell Sprouts and the Oddishes. Okay. There's just one more bug catcher here. With him done. We can now head into Rock Tunnel. And proceed our way on to Lavender Town, Pokemon Tower, Bubble Beam on Cubone, Slowpoke. Oh, it's going to be the best move on him. I'm going to go for Dig. Alright. It's. Uh, I tell you what, Lorelei's Slowbro might be an issue for my Slowbro, because Slowbro can't damage Slowbro. Or at least not very well. Yeah, bro. Oddish. Bulbasaur. It's like, hey, bro. Like, don't move too fast, bro. Yeah, like, just take a chill, bro. He's slow, bro. Hey, there won't be any problem with this section of the game, bro. They're all rock type. And is that trying to not mandatory? I didn't always battle that trainer, it doesn't matter. Okay. I've walked past that trainer just before and I did not realise that she was not a mandatory battle. Huh. The things you learn doing a Gen 1 solo playthrough. This one, however, is okay. Headbutt, good. Yeah, bro. You've made it through Rock Tunnel. Hey, so like when we go to Pokemon Tower, bro, are we gonna see any ghosts? Cause like, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, bro, even though they're like ghosts, they're like super chill, bro. Have you seen them in the anime? Uh, don't need Thunderbolt. Okay. There is a rival battle here, which is Kind of an odd level, he's a bit under leveled for this stage of the game. Uh, Bubble Beam, ah he hit me with Sand Attack. Confusion, I'm going to get knocked out by Gyarados, no maybe not because I can't hit anything now. Cadabra, Headbutt, Dig, Bend. Okay I don't lose, to, I think this might be the first time I've ever lost to this rival. But the only reason why Slowbro has lost is because of that Pidgeotto using Sand Attack. Alright, Whirlwind is good. Pidgeotto speed fell from Bubble Beam, which made us move first. Alright. See, now watch now. It is going to be the easiest battle. None of his Pokemon are going to do any damage. Ivysaur might do a little bit if it had Razor Leaf. Use fine, but look, as soon as you haven't got your sand attack, you are rubbish. You cannot win. Alright, with him beaten, let's head. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's head to Cerulean City. We can pick up the TMs for Psychic and Ice Beam, which you know, bro, I mean, like, whoa, now we're talking about a learn set, bro. If you know what I mean, so, up, in here, du, du, du. Okay, let's think about the gyms ahead. Erica sh may actually be difficult because Slowbro is not going to outspeed. So Slowbro is probably going to take hits. Let's get two bottles of water. Bottle of water. Okay, 
ice beam. Uh, let's get rid of headbutt. Oh! I forgot to pick up the TM for body slam. Not that it really matters, but that completely slipped my mind. And I've only just thought of it now. I forgot the TM for body slam. Huh. Well, I'll be. Does Slowbro learn body slam by level up? I think it might, actually. Okay. Anyway, psychic. Very good. Uh, let's get rid of confusion. I'm going to try Erica now. I don't like Slowbro's chances, though. I think it's going to get outsped and I think it's going to get knocked out. Okay, cut down trees and dip dip. Okay. Does Slowbro outspeed Bellsprout? It does. It does. Mm, this will be a very interesting battle. Okay, I'm gonna go for Psychic. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Slowbro woke up straight away. Hey, bro. Oh. It's been hit very hard by Razor Leaf and it's not going to win. Slowbro has got absolutely no chance of beating Erica right now. And I didn't pick up Fly and I have been walked back to Lavender Town which is a little bit annoying but that's okay. I only take a second to get back. Alright, so what do we do here? I might actually go and defeat Karate King first. That way I can gain a level or two. That way I can gain a level or two. Because Slowbro has got absolutely no chance of beating Erica. Not with that Victory Bell using Razor Leaf. Tell you what, Victory Bell would be an interesting run. I haven't done Victory Bell yet. I've thought about doing Victory Bell. Okay, let's get cut this time so I can fly to places instead of walking. Alright, HM2. Okay, let's do the rocket hideout first. It'll gain us some levels and it will also progress the game. Okay, eradicate, let's use Ice Beam. Do that ice beam, good. Alright, grab a PP up. I do know about the rare candy on the SSN as well, but it just doesn't seem worth getting. Okay, who has the lift key? I do believe you know the answer to that, my friend. Give me that key. Okay, there's a rare candy there. I grab the ones that are like in vicinity. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get them. Like, I'm not gonna go to the power plant ever in any of these runs to get a rare candy. Bubble Beam Sand True. In fact, Bubble Beam will probably knock out both of these trainers. Arbok Psychic, good. Do I have any potions left? I don't. That's okay. There's a Super Potion in here. I also didn't get the Super Potion out of the side of Rock Tunnel. Probably didn't need it though. Okay, guard spec, that's fine. Rhyhorn, bubble beam, one shot, Kangaskhan, let's go for psychic. Good hit, good hit. Alright. Sylph scope. Okay. Well, Erica's battle didn't go very well, so let's head to Lavender Town first. Ghastly. 
may actually be hard to run from the Gasly's and Haunters sometimes, if their speed is, because they're quite fast Pokemon. As you see, they are outspeeding Slowbro, which is... Let's do a quick stat chat. I haven't done a stat chat for a while. Look at that. That speed is abysmal. Physical defense is very good. Special and attack are also both quite solid as well. But, oh man, that speed stat, that is... He's going to struggle to have 100 speed, like, at level 100. At the rate he's, he's getting. Okay, Ghastly Psychic, very good. And you are noticing, right, Ghastly is going first. Even 12 levels in difference. And that's a bad omen for Agatha, because Agatha is going to outspeed. Slowbro might be able to get like a one-shot on them. But because of Slowbro's dreadful speed, he's always going to be taking hits. Okay. Don't need withdraw. Drowsy, let's use dig. Zubat, Radita, Radicate also outsped me. Bubble Beam, very nice. Okay, let's get the Poker Flute. That will give us access to Fuchsia City, which I might actually... You know, I might actually do Fuchsia City first. Sabrina won't be that difficult. Erica... I still don't like Slowbro's chances against Erica. So, da, 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 there's a rare candy here. So, I'm actually going to go and do Koga first. Might gain us one or two more levels and then we'll try Erica again. And I can also get this out of the way. Because at this stage of the game, this is just a hassle. After doing so many of these runs, going through the Safari Zone it just is no longer enjoyable. Okay, need arena. Oh boy. I hope everyone's doing well, man. Life has its ways of just kicking you in the balls when you and not looking. Okay, there we go, that's Surf and the Gold Teeth, so let's expire our time. Slowbro can learn both Surf and Strength. Which I may actually... I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure Slowbro does learn Body Slam by level up. Okay. As in the juggler fashion, he did swap out his Pokemon during that battle and cause his Kadabra to take the hit. Alright, there. Out comes Hypno, out comes Drowsy, out comes Hypno again. Okay, that Hypno is using Headbutt and it's made Slowbro flinch a number of times. And you know what, I'm actually going to go and get Dig. My PP back for Dig and heal up. Well, if Slowbro can learn Dig, does that mean Slowbro can learn Earthquake? Even though there's no difference between the moves, I am now just curious if Slowbro can learn it or not. I would say it can, if it can learn Dig. Oh, it outsped Coughing. I'm going to go for Psychic against Mark. Ooh, Toxic Mist. Alright, it's not going to survive a Psychic, is it? Smog Mist. I was hoping that when I would dig, it would go for self-destruct then. If Koga hit self-destruct, it wouldn't have knocked Slowbro out. Don't worry about that. Too much defense. 
All right, far-fetched, take us back. We done in future? Yeah, take us back to Celadon. Okay, let's try Erica again. I still don't know about... Slowbro is probably still not going to outspeed. Which is the issue. So Eric is still going to have an option to hit me quite heavily. Alright, Psychic. Sleep out of it. It's an instant loss if Slowbro's asleep. Okay, it's one-shot Victory Bell with Psychic. So, yeah, I know the whole thing about using battle items, and Vile Plume's quite slow, so Slowbro is, may actually do it a lot easier than I thought it would, yeah. But hey, because um, Victory Bell's still out speeding and using, um, using Sleep Powder, then it will just use Razor Leaf, it'll just knock me out instantly. So Erica can still win that battle. And Slowbro is not going to be outspeeding Victory Bell anytime soon. So. Okay. So you know, I don't mind using a little bit of a little bit of an assistance here and there, because after all, they use sand attack. So therefore, it's all fair. Okay. Let's just defeat this guy just for the hell of it. Ice Beam, good. Hypno, Surf, Surf, good. Now the rival. He may bring some difficulty because of how slow our bro is. Our bro ain't moving quick anytime soon. Which is going to make the rival quite difficult. Because Slowbro has no choice but to basically take take heavy hits here. Okay, quick attack, that's not too bad. Ice Beam, nice freeze, nice freeze. Gyarados, I'm actually going to go for Ice Beam against Gyarados. I got a crit and a flinch, that's really unlucky. I didn't do much, let's go for Psychic. Four hits on Gyarados, which is way too much. Surf on Growlithe is good. We're not going to outspeed Alakazam, but Alakazam also can't do much damage to us. But bloody Gyarados did enough, so. I'm going to try that battle one more time. If I can get through Gyarados without flinching, it should be fine. Jeez, Raticate still outspeeds. It's amazing. Slowbro is just... Oh my god, don't lose to that Hypno. Jeez, look how much damage it's taken. Alright, my bro. Let's head to the nurse and take a quick nap. How much damage it took to it? A level 28 Hypno. Alright, let's go for Ice Beam against Pidgeot. Well, win, that's good. Quick attack, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for Psychic against. I think Psychic's doing more damage than Ice Beam was. Alright, Surf on Growlithe, good. Alakazam, go for Dig. Disable is fine. Alright, Venusaur, Psychic, Fine Whip, does a lot. If that was a... Ooh, it, it went for Vine Whip twice. If it went for Razor Leaf, which I think it does have, um, Slowbro would not have won that battle. So, but hey, you take the victories where you can... Ooh, I didn't heal. Amnesia will greatly raise Slowbro's special, which, like, can make him almost unkillable. Which, uh, 
just for precautions. We're not going to lose to Giovanni. Um, Amnesia. Amnesia is a really good move in Gen 1, and I'll tell you why. Because it does special attack and defense. If you pump three Amnesias and put your, like, your growth to max, apart from it also using the badge boost glitch, um, Slowbro becomes so difficult to, to knock out because his defense is already high enough. You, you basically can't knock him out. You could probably knock him out with Fissure, to be honest. Um, Alright, Psychic, that's one shot. Kangaskhan, Psychic, that's almost one shot. Surf on Rhyhorn, that's easy. Nido Queen, Psychic, two shots. Giovanni won't be difficult once again. Okay, now we have some options. We can battle Sabrina or Blaine. Both shouldn't be too difficult. Because Sabrina shouldn't really be able to cause us any damage. Slowbro can learn. Oh, that's so Slowbro can use Dig, and that will probably one shot most of her Pokemon. At least, not one shot, be very close to it. Oh, I tell you what, if that Stun Spore hit, it might have been a different battle. But, Slowbro, well done. Don't teach your Pokemon Psy Wave, it is an absolute garbage move. Alright, let's head down to Cinnabar Island. No, actually, let's get strength first before I forget. Okay, engine four. Rare candy. Okay, let's head back there. And Alright, Cinnabar Island. Let's heal up. And let's drop our bag. Uh, get rid of Team 6. Get rid of Psywave. Team 6 is um, toxic. That's Mega Drain. Okay. Ah, uh, no, actually, let's grab some repels. Alright, with the repels, let's downstairs. Once you've done so many solo runs, um, Pokemon Mansion also becomes a bit of a drag as well. Two rare candies in here though, so it's got its place for being useful. But the Pokemon Mansion. This used to take so long as a kid. It used to on cartridge. It was very difficult because you, when you're a completionist as well, you want to battle everything, and it's hard to do it in one run. There's a wild Pokemon here. The levels ramp up quite a bit. They can be around levels like mid 30s to 40s here, and if you get a high level encounter with a Raticate, it can use Super Fang and take half your health. Okay, Blaine's gym is open. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. The answer is yes, it is technically wrong because Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Okay. Oops. And then. Okay, we are. Facing off with Blaine, who really, I don't see much that Blaine can really do to us, to be honest. Rapidash and Arcanine, they can all, they all outspeed, but they can't do anything to me, so that's an easy win. Okay, off to Giovanni, who also will probably be an easy win. As long as I haven't forgotten anyone, which I don't think I have. Okay, Karate, go, Machop, Machop, Machoke, all good. 
All right, obviously, Giovanni's Pokemon will outspeed, so I could potentially get knocked out by Fissure. Dugtrio will definitely outspeed. I did quite a bit of damage, too. Psychic on Nidoqueen. Nidoking also Psychic, good. Rhydon. Slowbro outspeeds Rhydon. Did I get any... I might have had a Growl or a Tail Whip or something used on me badge boost my speed but wow if Slowbro at that speed is outspeeding Rhydon how slow is Rhydon? Rhydon might be slower than Slowbro anyway okay da -da, okay rival battle I don't predict this is going to go well whirlwind is fine Rhyhorn Surf is good Gyarados Psychic. Leah, that's good. Okay, it hit me with a Dragon Rage, but that's not too bad. Alakazam, go for Dig. Dig again. Dig again. It's using Recover. It's annoying me. I've lost too much health for Venusaur. And it's all Alakazam's fault. Well, I don't want to sit here. Three of them. Alright, Ice Beam. Rhyhorn, that's easy one shot. Alright, Gyarados, Psychic should be two shots now. Yes. Alright, Growlithe, good. Alakazam, Dig. Two shots. It's more health than last time. Alright, Psychic, Razor Leaf, that's gonna knock me out. If it went for Vine Whip or Leech Seed, if it still has Leech Seed or not, if it went for either one of those sorts of moves, it would have been a win. Alright, two levels higher. Ice Beam. One shot on Fidgeot. One shot right. Two hits on Gyarados. It also hit me with Dragon Rage. Dig. Reflect, that's... Uh, it's okay. I'm losing because Alakazam keeps lo keeps using the cover. You absolute dirty son of a bitch. Foul. Absolute prick that Alakazam can be. All right, Gyarados, two shots. Surf. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a different strategy. I'm gonna use Ice Beam on him and hope for a freeze. I'm serving right. Well, I feel like after all those Ice Beams, I should have had at least one freeze. Fine Whip, okay. Slow Bro, it's not gonna one shot. I don't think I've seen Slowbro get a single critical hit this whole this whole run, and I'm not surprised because critical hits are based on your speed. All right, let's use the last three red candies because Slowbro is taking too long to get through here. Ice Beam, one shot. At level 58, it should be a one shot. Two Psychics on Gyarados, Surf on Growlithe. Okay, Ice Beam on Alakazam. Frozen and it serves you right, you stupid. Oh, Razor Leaf missed. I don't think it would have knocked Slowbro out. It is only base 95. Oh, I say only. Oh, that was a crit. Maybe it would have knocked me out. Maybe, oops, maybe it wouldn't have. I don't think it would have. It would have got very, very close to it, but. Either way, it doesn't matter. We are through. And we are taking the road once again. We are all going all the way up. We're at 42. 45 minutes into the run on my timer. Nido Queen had already completed the game. There is a Max Ether there, but I don't I never end up using it. Ditto, I'm not looking forward to doing him. Fero, someone did request Fero, so I've been meaning to do him. Okay, 
I have repels. There is one more ray candy in here as well. Ah, oh, crud, which one was it? I'm, sh I'm sure it's someone on the left. Yes, okay. Oh, why do I use the forest door? I should have just thrown away a TM. Okay, anyway. Okay, Slowbro's run is slowly getting there. How much difficulty will it have with the Elite Four? It will definitely struggle with Lorelei. Lorelei probably won't be able to do much damage to me, but I'm gonna have to probably use Dig and run out of Dig PP. Would have been okay if I had Body. Sl Oops. Would have been okay if I had Body Slam. I could have done a Paralysis. But I forgot to pick it up, so. And at this level, I'd say Slowbro doesn't learn Body Slam from level up. It should have. Because Slowbro is so slow, it couldn't run away from that Venomoth. And it can't get away from the Golbat either. Where's my repels? Alright, we're through Victory Road. Let's get out of here. No, oh, there's no room for items. Fine, fine. I'll go ditch some items in my bag. Alright, that'll buy us four full stores, which isn't a lot, but it's enough. Lapras, ducks, both into the box. Alright, well, how much do you need for a level? 10, okay. At level 60, Slowbro is going for its first attempt against the Elite Four. I don't like its chances of winning on the first try or anything like that, but this will probably be the hardest battle right here. Lorelei. Actually, I can use Psychic as well. that dig is doing absolutely nothing. Can't outspeak Jinx. Jinx is meant to have terrible defense. Why doesn't Lorelai's Jinx have terrible defense? My Jinx, my Jinx's defense was like, it didn't even reach a hundred. Okay, Psychic on Lapras. If it survives Body Slam, which it does. Okay, it actually got past Lorelei a lot easier than what I thought it would. Alright, obviously, we all know how Bruno's battle is going to go. Bruno ain't nothing. And where's my PP ups? Alright, Agatha. It's best to go for Dig. Because Dig will one shot. Okay, well, that's not good, is it? Obviously, I can't outspeed a Haunter. Now I'm paralyzed. Oh, it's got underground. It will probably knock Gengar out if it hits. Oh, that's so unlucky. Oh my god. That's one in 256. And it hit itself in confusion. Well, that was anticlimactic. So, Agatha is still a little bit of trouble. Just because her... Because I can't outspeed. If Slowbro could outspeed them, it'd be fine. Alright, Slowbro gets through Lorelei quite easily. Alright, up to Bruno. 
we will casually dispose of him. And really, apart from Gyarados, Slowbro should be able to get through most of Lance fairly easy as well. Oh, Dream Eater, that's good. Um, it's better to go for Dig. Um, Gengar and Haunters have a lot less uh, defense than what they do special. That's why Dig is a much better option. When you attack, that's fine. Confuse. Okay, there we go. That's one shot on Golbat. Dig. Dream Eater, very good, very good. I don't control the AI. And if we can... Ooh, Toxic. That's, that's actually not too bad because that means it can't put me to sleep. And Dig should one shot... Yep. What level are we? 64. That's okay attack. It's nothing like massive, but it's not bad. That speed stat though, at level 64 to have 75 speed, that's terrible. Alrighty, we're up to Lance. Maybe should have used an ether. Uh, Alright, nah, we shouldn't need it. Ice Beam. Ice Beam, Ice Beam, good, it only got hit by one Dragon Rage, Ice Beam, Dragon Air, how speeds Dragon Air? Oh, no, okay, speed time maybe. Surf on Aerodactyl, used Hyper Beam. Oh, you prick. You dirty son of a bitch prick. Alright. Let's get there again. Okay, Slowbro can definitely beat Lance. They can't paralyze, that's not good. Ooh, I may have just used my last full restore. Well, that's not good, is it? I get the feeling Slowbro anyway is going to need much more levels. I think that Slowbro is really going to struggle with um, the rivals Venusaur. Yeah, I because if that hits Razor Leaf, it's well. Then again, it may even go for Solar Beam, and that's a two shot. And you know that is a two two shot move. Okay. Through Lorelei, up to Bruno again. Surf is good. Surf, surf. Looks like Slowbro starting to outspeed some of Bruno's Pokemon now too. Gengar, okay. Arbok, Psychic. Oh, Gengar came out. Now it's just Arbok. Psychic is good. Okay, full restore. Dragon Rage, it's too bad, and then we got a freeze. There we go, we didn't get hyper beamed by that other Dragonite, so. By uh, Dragonite, sorry. Good, okay. Hyper beam. Alright. Good, still uh, Ice Beam will be one shot. Alrighty, we got lucky. We managed to get out of the confusion. Slowbro's got a lot of HP as well, I'll give him that. Alright, you've earned an elixir. Alright, first attempt at the rival. We're level 70. Uh, let's do a stat check. So, decent attack, decent special, very good defense. Speed, we don't talk about it, speed. Okay. Ice Beam, Whirlwind. Why does Pidgeot still have Whirlwind? There you go. Ooh! Tell you what. Okay. I'm gonna go for 
dig against Alakazam. Let's just use Reflect, which isn't, which is gonna um, defend it. Psychic doesn't do that much. I'm hoping that I just don't get a special drop. No, Surf is good. All right, Gyarados. I'm gonna go for Psychic. It's gone for Hyper Beam. And because Slowbro is high defense, it has actually tanked the hit, so... Alright, what do we go for here? Psychic. We are part Psychic, it will get a, get a move boost. I think it's... Ice Beam could freeze, but I think it's definitely better to go for Psychic. Alright, it's going for Solar Beam. And I'm not going to survive Solar Beam at this much health. Psychic. Oh, it's one shot. It has one shot. Psychic is a very powerful move. Slowbro is very powerful with special. And it does get a little bit of a boost being same type. So, wins a win. Slowbro has done it in 56 minutes, which definitely isn't the fastest, but it actually was very good with the Elite Four. So, it wasn't actually that bad. Now, overall, Slowbro, with the obvious issue with its speed, is actually a very good Pokemon. It's very, very bulky in all its other stats. Definitely one to consider for any team in Gen 1. Well, if you've sticked around to the end of the video, thank you. I do appreciate your company wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, keep well, keep cool. I will see you in the next video. Farewell.